All right, y'all. So in this one, we're going to be talking about crypto and we're going to be talking about if it's a scam, because I recently got a comment on one of my videos that was letting me know a lot of people really don't see much value in crypto. They're just here for the opportunity. Um, the comment went along the lines of, you know, this is crypto. It's all just a scam. You're supposed to buy low and you sell it when it goes high. That's it. Don't like and people believe don't get to attach to projects. Just come in make a little bit of money and leave. And I mean, I get it. That's, that's a lot of people's approach. And I mean, if that's your approach, nothing wrong with it. But I think that the reason crypto is here is because it's actually valuable, which means that you can understand the value that crypto has to offer and not just use it as some opportunity, some vehicle to try to push your wealth forward because a byproduct of you understanding what crypto is, is going to push your wealth forward because most people who even invest in crypto don't even know what it is. They don't get it. They don't know why it's going up. They just are here and understand how to profit off of it going up. The value of crypto is real. It's a genuine thing. It's something that's very important. If you don't know, the financial system is crashing. Look at how many people do you know in financial hardships? Like how, how many people do you know struggling? Do you think things are getting better or worse financially? They're printing more and more money. Like this is a system that's failing. This is a system that's breaking and something has to be next. And you want evidence to support crypto being what's next? Why is the government regulating it? Why is it being regulated? Why is it becoming this big deal? Why, why are institutions beginning to invest in things like that? Like, why is that happening? You think they just like wasting their money? You think they're just here for a quick pump? It's a lot of stuff that pumps around the world. You don't see all these these institutions jumping into stuff that just pumps and they can make a quick buck. People, people are starting to understand why Bitcoin is so valuable, why it's so significant and why crypto is. So let me explain to you all how I see crypto and why I don't believe that it is a scam and why I believe that it's going to be life changing for so many people for well for everybody, but people who choose to capitalize off of this and do it correctly I mean, that you're going to profit handsomely, in my opinion. Now, when it comes down to what it is, I think this is the currency of the future. Now, what we're debating and arguing and things like that and, and what we're trying to figure out and betting on is which one is the currency of the future. You have some cryptos out here that's not even attempting to be the currency of the future. They're just a attempting to, to, to be the currency of something. You know, it's, it's just something. It's not the it's not intended for what Bitcoin is intended for. That's not its purpose. It's some some currencies out here trying to promote that they're going to be better than Bitcoin. And will they? Probably not. Who knows? But it's other currencies out here who's not even attempting to try something like that. You have other tokens out here that specifically its use case is for games. They want to be the currency used within a game that's that's in this space. That's it. That's that's the only purpose they want for their crypto. So these are real currencies associated and tied to real things. Bitcoin is tied is something that's tied to something that as big as the world and everywhere. But you have other things as small as just somebody has a game and they wanted a cryptocurrency for their game. And now that that token is tied to that particular game. That that's really this is this is so big because this is the same technology like if you ever watched those those movies where people are out of space they're paying with like things on their arm and stuff like that they're paying with all these if you've ever watched those type of movies and and wondered how the money worked how people could travel to different planets and stuff like that and still have currency and pay and stuff like that this is the technology that allows for that. Now, is it at that stage right now? No. Then this is what people go, this is where people think that, oh, he's in tinfoil hat mode because now you're talking about going to different planets, traveling to space and, and, and being able to pay for stuff on different planets and all that. This is the early stages. This is that early stage technology right here. The same technology that led to us being able to build phones, being able to build apps and stuff like that, Back then when that stuff was being built, how many people could actually see that it was going to become what it is today? So if you 
at the point, you, you know that it's somebody's goal to get to space and you know that someone is going to make it happen. You know that they're gonna have to have a currency. What's more likely? Are we gonna be carrying US dollars there? Are we gonna be carrying dollars from whatever country you're from there? No, it's gonna be some cryptocurrency. It's gonna be some digital currency that's going to be respected and accepted everywhere. That's what it's going to be. So when you consider this and you start to understand that as the world advances, paper money isn't even going to be, it's not even gonna be an option. They're making everything automated already. They're, they're already starting to make things automated. They're starting, like things need to be faster. They, they're trying to make things faster and more efficient. It's not efficient putting out a piece of paper. It's not It's not efficient putting out stacks of paper. Yeah, it's cool right now. It's, it's, it was, it's the norm, it's the usual, it's respected in this generation, but you see, it's a lot more people walking around with a credit card than walking around with stacks of money. And it, it's going to get even easier than, we went, from, we went from stacks of money to credit card. We've gone from credit card in your hand to now you have a credit card on your phone. You have wallets on your phone that holds your credit card. It's, we're slowly moving more and more digital. We're slowly moving more and more digital. Everything is digital. Even the money in your bank account, that's not real money. That's not tangible money. That's just digital numbers put there. That's just, that it's digital numbers. Yes, you can withdraw the money, so then they'll go and get real money, but what you're seeing in your bank account is just fake money. You're already living in, in this right now. It's just... This now is not being controlled and manipulated by some institution. Like this is why it's so huge. This is it's it's the little the little person's chance to now be involved before it's all manipulated, before it's all corrupt. Yes, corruption does happen. Yes, some things, yes, bad things happen using crypto, but bad things happen using any currency. All anything, anything bad that happens is funded from somewhere. So yes, the same way people, there's bad actors in crypto, there's bad. It's the same thing as as, the, as life. So you gotta you gotta really you gotta really understand. Like a lot of people who are investing right now, they're just investing off of the the pumps, the hypes. They're hearing something. Oh, yo, my friend made thirty thousand dollars while investing in this. I just bought me some, and and. It just keeps spreading that way. That's why most people are in crypto right now. People just see it's an opportunity to make money. But people don't know how big the opportunity is. People don't realize how huge this opportunity is. But it is a massive opportunity because you're holding a currency that is going to become the currency that everyone on the planet uses. That, that's, going to, that's going to be touched by everyone on the planet, different currencies. Now, the biggest gamble, like all the XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, um cardano all of this stuff like all of this stuff what people are trying to figure out is what's going to be the biggest what's going to be the main currencies or what's going to be the main currencies like people are trying to figure that out that's the only real conversation we're having right now um the only real conversation is which is going to be the currencies that's that becomes the currencies of the world that, that's, that's all that that's the conversation right now. People are trying to decide which one is going to be and for what reason. But we can see how what, what's being regulated. We can see. Have you ever seen uh, any of these other coins ATMs in stores? Because I see Bitcoin ATMs in stores. Like there, there's other. In my opinion, you just really have to open your mind and be open to, to the possibility that one day we're going to have vehicles that allows us to travel off the planet. One day we're going to stop using gas vehicles because we're going to run out of gas. Like even if it's not in your generation right now, the reason that this is an opportunity to build generational wealth is because you're at the beginning stages right now where this is just an option for us in the future, your grandkids, your great, great grandkids and stuff like that. It's not going to be an option for them. They're going to need that. They're going to need, that's going to be their currency. They're going to, and it's going to be so scarce. It's going to be so scarce because they can't just print more Bitcoin. You can't print more Bitcoin like the government can do with this currency. You can't just do that. You can't do that to the point where it destroys the currency. You can't do that so much that you make the currency worthless like the governments are doing now. 
You can't manipulate it like that. So at the point where your grandkids, great grandkids, like this is all this is all assets that can be passed down and they can put them in a, a in a space where they're ahead. They're, like they're, they're genuinely ahead in life because you start collecting it when it was optional, when it was just another form of currency. And now it's become this big thing that that's the only way you can pay for things in the world. And you own a chunk of it because you got in super early. So that, that's what I believe crypto is. Like if you have opposing points of view, if you just think it's a scam that's here for the moment, because I have heard some things like that. I have heard some um, perspectives like that. Please share, share your thoughts, share your opinions. Like I'm open to hearing every side. But what I understand is like the ownership when it comes down to NFTs, it's it's the ledger. It's, it's the ledger to, to really prove ownership. Everything about this space is starting to make digital more serious. We went from an age where it was the internet and, and we went to all these websites and stuff like that. You can post pictures on Google and all of this. It wasn't really ownership based. Like what was the need for ownership? Like we haven't had... Now that everything is starting to transfer digital, like like now that everything is starting to be done digital, there's value in being able to prove ownership. There's value in being able to purchase things digitally. The value is there now. So I believe this is just the beginning stages of something huge. And I don't believe that crypto is a scam, basically. Um, that's, that my, that's my opinion. My opinion is crypto is far from a scam. I think that it's the future. And... The people who start investing now are going to be in a position to change their lives and 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 their bloodlines lives for generations to come. Um, the thing that I think is important at this point, especially if you already are investing, you're already holding, you already know, you already have a strategy and a plan and things like that. What I think is, is more important to plan is how to educate your, your bloodline that comes after you on how not to screw it up because it's easy when you're born entitled you, you're like the thing is I, I see so many millionaires and billionaires and stuff like that today say oh when i die my kids ain't getting nothing they, they got to start and make their own way in this world i think that's some that that's a that's a weird perspective i think generational wealth needs to be more important um building generational wealth and doing it the right way what i think is more important is finding people that you can trust to educate and make sure all the things that that you need to find a way to educate future generations on how to properly become good people, even with money, you know, like even if you have money, you need to like, like that's a prop. That's just a problem. Problems have solutions. And it blows my mind that all these millionaires and billionaires and stuff like that can build these incredible businesses can can do all this incredible stuff can make all this money and you can't realize something as simple as the reason that generations usually the second generation of wealth usually burns through like half of the half of it and stuff like that like wealth is is lost extremely fast when it starts to when it goes down to the you know other generations that's just a problem you've solved problems your whole life which is why you've become successful that's a problem it's like people would rather just give their money up than to solve the problems of their family no, solve the problem of your family potentially being dumb asses in the future and put something in place to where they can learn, be educated. They can have values, morals. They can have a code that they live by. They can become better people. This is all stuff that you can afford to do. You can afford to have this stuff put into place to make sure that even if you got to test them, put, put them through tests, create obstacles for them. Don't just give them all the wealth. Allow them the ability, the options to unlock through certain things. I mean, there, there's ways, there, there's definitely ways to solve problems, but people don't look at every people, I guess some people's minds are only good for solving certain problems. You can't just be open to solving any problem. So yeah, like th this is pretty much my take on crypto. I believe that it's going to be, it's, it's going to be the currency of the future. It's going to change everything. It's going to change the world, change our lives, change our families' lives. And I mean, the government seems to think so too. That's why it's being regulated. I mean, it, it pretty much speaks for itself. Like if it's a scam, like that's why ETFs are being made and approved and stuff like that. That's why the, um, that's why the SEC is starting to come, it's coming after people and things like that. Like 
this is getting serious. It's getting serious, serious. It's getting very legitimate and it's getting very respected. So yeah, that's pretty much it though. Let me know what you all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out y'all.